potatoes. The whole community helps in putting out the entire patch of potatoes. Because it's big. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> All those potatoes. Early last week, one of the colonies sent us tomatoes because we didn't have enough. And today, when putting out tomatoes, potatoes, <laughs> I got told that the colony that sent us the tomatoes put a message on one of the boxes for me. And I just found it so funny. This is what they put on the box. And I actually find it, I find it funny. But if you see this, I saw your message. Thank you for the tomatoes. Dope today.
Taco soup for supper in the process. Baking and putting the marinade on the pork that we are going to need for supper tomorrow. For the sweet onion sub buns this week, I had to enlarge my sauce recipe and now I'm gonna go make the sauce so I can get it out of the way, even though the sandwich is only on Thursday. See, that's how it is in Hunter Ride Kitchen. You prep forward. A lot of days forward. Because it's a lot of, it's big meals, a lot to do. So you do what you can with the time that you have. in the making. Just dump everything. I don't even know what that is. No clothes. And if it didn't have a man. creamer, vanilla, and I eyeball everything. I don't have a recipe, I don't have a measurement. Honey, salt. I mean, it doesn't look as nice when you're almost done, but this is absolutely amazing. There's a smudge here. Let me fix that. So today the ladies and the girls also put out the carrots, the parsnips, the beets, 
and finished off with the onions and usually it takes us two days usually the first day we put everything out and then the second day we cut all the tops off it's a lot of work it usually it takes it takes a long time they started they've been doing it all day they started in the morning they continued into the afternoon and I think at six a little after six they were done so they had a full day and I am still I'm still blown away that they did that they did I'm still blown away that they did everything today because the carrots the parsnips and the beets are the are usually the last work that we the last of the vegetables that we take out, out of the garden and it is a hectic day it's a tiring day but I wasn't a part of it because I'm cooking so I'm in the kitchen I don't when you're cooking you don't go to work here in the kitchen you are doing you are doing work although it would have been nice to be able to go but it is what it is so this is what our fridge looks like in winter and these are all the carrots and the parsnips that they put out today this might give you an idea of why it's so much work because we need a lot these are the potatoes we put out this past Saturday a lot but we have a whole co colony to feed we have over 100 people to feed so this is what we need to get through winter oh there's more here oh there that's celery but i'm gonna put the chicken bones in here and then they're gonna be slowly cooking for and then they're going to be slowly cooking throughout the day and that makes absolutely phenomenal soup Now I'm gonna go make kuin again, those fried <laughs> pieces of, <laughs> of dough that we eat. They're very good, but that's it. There's not much here. I will say one thing, I'm not used to a recipe that is that small. I mean, that I have to make in the kitchen that is that small, but that's all we need. Even my yeast mixture, there is nothing here. And then these are the kuin. We caught them, put them on a tray, let them rise, and then closer to Middagasen, lunch, they are going to get fried. And then you eat them by eating them just plain, or dipping them in your soup, or with jam, whatever you wish. Whenever we have kuchen, we also automatically have strankesuppen or string bean soup. It's just chicken broth, string beans, potatoes, and cream. And of course, for string bean soup, we need to go get the string beans. It's the most important part. Because we make regular kuehen, 
I also have to make gluten free. I bake them in a donut tray because they don't fry as nice. The recipe I use doesn't fry as nice. They're still good. It's like grading rocks. It does say three tablespoons, I think. I don't measure. It's about three. Oh, this is another marinade that I have to make for beef. It seems like this week I'm not getting away from the marinades. They're brazen ish. But now we go throw them in the fryer and then they pop up and expand big time. I always like to have a fresh bottle of kefir in my cook week. It is so nice, especially in the kitchen when I'm cooking. It makes it a little bit better. Ooh, I like the leaves in the background. You are good to us, but your time is gone. My binder is falling apart. Boop. Breakfast. I baked oatmeal. This is the one that we use. Pause the video and screenshot the recipe. It's quite lengthy. So, we're gonna prep for this now for tomorrow. Aprons are handy. They are fall cleaning the freezer <laughs> and organizing and sorting and cleaning and, and everything and a lot of stuff. Someone is cold. For supper tonight, we had a make your own bowl with rice, pork tenderloin, veggies, beans, and a very good ginger garlic sauce. And I absolutely love this one. It's a little bit witchy, and I think that's why I like it. Ooh, and dusty. The kennels are gone. It's time to move on. I did not mean to run, but I did, just did. Hey, Kona, need to my kittle auf. Don't eat my skirt. I accidentally got um how will you call this? Chicken fat on my skirt. And she's having a heyday.
I got one crucial part. The applesauce. There we go. Oh, it's kefir. It's a healthy probiotic for your gut. Another day, another marinade. I don't know. Guys, and today our lunch today is a chicken kanaki soup. Kanakis, this thing here, are potato progies, spinach and carrots and onions, and it's so good. And a bologna sandwich. Ginger beef for supper! And here we are already prepping for supper tomorrow because that's just the way we roll! Ooh. almost forgot a crucial part. Seriously. <laughs> How do I... We have a noodle dish, a vegetable stir fry, and ginger beef for supper today. Oh. With a pumpkin spice latte. Struggling. Filling the butter and making sure it's nice and clean to use at breakfast.
look at that nice and toasted bun. Grill your chicken. On one side we put mayonnaise and on the other a sweet chili. Sweet onion! Sorry, sweet onion sauce. onions, chicken. I always sit like this. I'm now home and I'm just sitting down to, to, to eat my supper. And I'm just sitting down to eat my supper. I'm tired. That sub had a lot more work than I expected, and we were busy all afternoon prepping. So right now is the only time I have had time to sit down and eat. It's very good, but a heck of a lot more work than I thought it was. I did not expect that, not at all. I think that's all for today and I'll see you tomorrow at breakfast. on every table because there's eight people to a table Stir it and bake it again till everything is nice and crisp and golden and brown and beautiful. And I have four of these trees. White sauce made from sugar and milk and starch to eat with the pierogies. What happens when Giselle cooks? How do I do this? Why? 
today I also emptied out one of the fryers, cleaned out the old fat and replaced it with new fat. Our assembly line to start making fish tacos. <laughs> 